My wife and I bought this house out here on Beggs Island back in December of 2010. We went through a really extensive remodeling of the house. And so the, the last part of this project that we put a lot of time and effort into it was the, well, maybe two parts, but the drive, driveway and the landscaping. And so um, we wanted to have the driveway actually be part of, you know, the entire project and the architectural work that we were trying to do to get it to, to look like we want to look. And so it wasn't just going to be a regular driveway. I mean, it, it's going to be a special driveway. Um, and there were a number of things with the original driveway that needed to be fixed. Up, up by the front door, um, there's a lot of slope to the driveway, and when you went up there, your car door would fly open and things like that. Um, there was also some drainage problems down below that caused a lot of the asphalt to be um, cracking up over the years. We also hoped to live here for a long time, so we were looking for a job that not only would look good, that, that would also stand up really well. So um, we worked with Jim May to put together the proposal, and it's not, of course, just asphalt. There's also the Unilock pavers that we wanted to have put in as well that our landscape artist um, came up with. And so I asked Jim to put together a complete proposal, you know, a single source kind of responsibility so they could do the whole project. So he teamed up with a landscaper that could do that as well. And that was really important to me, so I wasn't trying to coordinate between the paver and the landscaper. And they worked really well together. Um, it was fun watching Wolf actually execute the project because uh, the first guys that come out here, of course, are those who are taking up the old asphalt. And that took a day or so, and the old driveway was totally gone. And then uh, watching Gino and his crews uh, working to uh, get the grades all right um, and working with the subgrade. Fortunately, even though we're out here on the island, a lot of the subgrade was, was pretty good, so he had a good base to work off of. A couple soft spots he had to fix up. Most importantly was to get the, the uh, uh, driveway to flow right so you know, when it rains and stuff, the water will flow off properly. And it is a fairly shallow grade all the way up around the corner to the garage door. Of course, there's no problem going up around towards the front door but uh, we really needed to focus on, on the grade here and he took uh, very careful measurements right up front to make sure that uh, we could get the grade right. And so uh, Gino got his crews out of here, left his um, uh, work behind if you will. It's kind of neat though, both he and his wife drove by a couple of times at night to check on it to see how it looked and things like that. So you could tell that he cared about the project a lot. Uh, and then Conrad came in with his crews to, uh, to do the paving and uh, they picked up from there. And it was, a fairly seamless project, although um, I was very impressed with what it takes to pave a project like this. I think it was a dozen or more trucks, primarily because of the load limit on the bridge, which is another consideration. And also um, uh, the type of paver they had to use, and they did a lot of staging off the island on the mainland, if you will, to bring it across. So there was a lot of coordination uh, that went into to paving this project. Uh, Wolf Paving has uh, been known to us for, for years. Um, I'm involved in commercial construction myself and we work a lot with them. Uh, but when you're in Waukesha County, especially w uh, Western Waukesha County, uh, Wolf Paving is really the, the company to go to. Um, they do a great job. Uh, their plants are out here, the people live out here, and uh, they've got a great reputation. Um, that's, you know, they've been around for many years. I'd absolutely refer Wolf Paving to people. They did a great job here and I, and I do refer them. And we're very happy with the way it all came out. And uh, I have to say one, once again that the coordination between the, the, the sales team, the salesman, the Jim May, and then the uh, subgrade folks, uh, Gino, and then the pavers, uh, Conrad, it was fun to watch them all work together. And uh, the glue that held it all together was, was Jim May as he uh, kept checking in on the project. So, great job.